Albania boasts a rich history dating back to ancient times, with influences from Greek, Roman, Byzantine and Ottoman civilizations. The country is renowned for its diverse and picturesque landscapes, including pristine beaches along the Adriatic and Ionian seas, rugged mountains and lush forests. Albania is slowly becoming the jewel of the Balkans due to its crystal waters, impressive mountains and affordability for all types of travellers. With idyllic beaches, trendy beach bars and views that might make you never want to leave, Albanian beaches are a hotspot for younger generations looking for the hottest parties and the best vibes of the summer. With 300 days of sun and warm temperatures even in January, Albanian Riviera can be enjoyed almost all year round, even beyond its beaches, though they are the main attraction. Some of the most iconic beaches of Albania are in the southern shores, including the Dermi, Jail, Himare, Caparo, Borsh Cluster, Saranda and Kesamil, a bit further south. Travelling to the Ionian coast from the Logara Pass, located at 1,057 metres above sea level, visitors can visit the Bird's Eye, a breathtaking attraction of this coast. In 2023, the tourism industry reached new heights with an estimated 10.2 million visitors. Albanian culture is a term that embodies the artistic, culinary, literary, musical, political and social elements that are representative of Albanians. Albanian culture has been considerably shaped by the geography and history of Albania. Kosovo, parts of Montenegro, North Macedonia, and of Northern Greece, traditional homeland of Albanians. It grew from that of the Paleo-Balkan cultures, including Proto-Albanian, Illyrian, Thracian, Dacian, with their pagan beliefs and specific way of life in the wooded areas of far southern Europe. The name Albanian derived from the Illyrian tribe of the Albanoi and their capital in Albanopolis that was noted by Ptolemy in ancient times. Skyperia or Skipnia and the endonym Skiptare or Skiptar gradually replaced Arberia and Arboresh. The terms Skyperia and Skiptare are popularly interpreted respectively as the land of eagles and children of eagles, eagle men. The double-headed eagle is the national and ethnic symbol of all Albanian-speaking people. The most dominant traditional Albanian folk costumes and dresses are indeed white, with black vertical lines, same colours as the liturgical Christian vestment, the albi, which might be what the people whose traditional fold costumes resemble the alb were named after. Albanians can be culturally and linguistically separated into two groups, such as the Northern Gegs and Southern Tosks. Home of Muslims and Christians, religious tolerance is one of the most important values of the tradition of the Albanian people. Albanian identity has two important attributes which are Kanuni and Besa. The Albanian Kanun is regarded as a literary monument that is of interest to Indo-European studies, reflecting many legal practices of great antiquity. Several regional Albanian customary laws have been collected and published during the 20th and 21st centuries, including the Canon of Leke Dukagini, the Canon of Skanderbeg and the Canon of Liberia. The Kanun, a comprehensive compilation of Albanian traditional customs and cultural practices, was codified by Leke Dukagini in the Middle Ages. Scholars have conjectured that the Kanun might have derived from Illyrian tribal laws, while others have suggested that it has retained elements from Indo-European prehistoric eras. The Kanun reflects notably the historic development of Albanians through its turbulent history and encompasses in a real statute regulating various aspects of life including customs, traditions and wisdom in Albania. Besa, to keep the promise, is the Albanian code of honour and a major component of Albanian culture. It is among the highest and most important concept of the canon with a moral and ethic connotation. The term contains the given word or keeping of a promise or obligation and the guaranteed agreement among honourable men. Most notably, besa means taking care of those in need and being hospitable to every single person. 
Albania saved and protected almost 2,000 Jewish people during the Holocaust. Thanks to its long history, Albania is home to many valuable monuments, such as among others the remains of Butrint, the medieval cities of Berat and Gyrokasta, the Roman amphitheatre of Dures, the Illyrian tombs and fortress of Bashtova. Other examples of important contributions to architecture may be found in Apollonia, Bilis, Amantia, Finis, Skoda and many others. Despite being a small country, Albania has three sites on the UNESCO World Heritage Site List and one intangible cultural heritage element. Butrint was an ancient Greek city, then a Roman one, and the seat of a late Roman bishopric. After a period of abandonment, it was occupied by the Byzantines, the Angevins and the Venetians. It was finally abandoned in the late Middle Ages. Prominent archaeological sites include a Greek theatre, a late antique baptistery, a 9th century basilica, and fortifications from the period of the Greek colony to the Middle Ages. Barat and Girocasta are inscribed as rare examples of an architecture typical of the Ottoman period. Berat bears witness to the coexistence of various religious and cultural communities down the centuries. It features a castle, most of which was built in the 13th century, although its origins date back to the 4th century BC. The citadel area has many Byzantine churches, mainly from the 13th century, as well as several mosques built in the 15th century. Berat is known as the City of One Over One Windows, offers visitors a glimpse into Albania's fascinating past and a taste of its warm welcome. Girocasta features a series of two-storey houses which were built in the 17th century. The town also retains a bazaar, an 18th century mosque and two churches of the same period. Girocasta was originally listed individually in 2005. Berat was added to the site in 2008. Isopolyphony is a traditional part of Albanian folk music and, as such, is included in UNESCO's Intangible Cultural Heritage List. Now let's talk a little about food. Here is the making of flia, one of the most famous Albanian dishes. Flia is a simple crepe-like dish that is crispy on top and softer on the bottom. The addition of butter gives flia its delicious flavour. The dish is usually served with fresh dairy products such as cheese or yogurt. When you are visiting Albania, make sure to also try these dishes. Birek, Tavikosi, Peshknizgar, Fasule, Geldeti, Mipashesh. Tirana, the capital of Albania, is known for its colourful Ottoman, fascist and Soviet-era architecture. Pastel buildings surround the city's focal point, Skanderbeg Square, which is named for its equestrian statue of a national hero. On the square's north end is the modernist National History Museum, covering prehistoric times through communist rule and the anti-communist uprisings of the 1990s. Tirana is located in the centre of the country, enclosed by mountains and hills. Other than Tirana, the four biggest cities are Duras, Flora, Elbasan and Škoda. Fun facts about Albania. 750,000 bunkers were built on the orders of communist dictator Enver Hoxha from 1967, 1986, and they were in use until 1991. In 1967, Albania became the world's first atheist state. This happened under the leadership of Enver Hoxha, Nowadays, Albania is considered a very tolerant country when it comes to religion, and everyone lives peacefully together. Albania's former king survived 55 assassination attempts. King Zog I was the leader of Albania from 1922 to 1939. Once home to the cannabis capital of Europe prior to 2014, the small town of Lazarat was at the heart of Albania's cannabis industry. According to police reports, the cannabis grown in Lazarat alone had an annual street value of EUR 4.5 billion. In 2014, the Albanian government officially put Lazarat out of business. In Albania, there are approximately 91 globally endangered species. 
These include the pygmy cormorant, Mediterranean monk seal, and the Dalmatian pelican. In 2016, Albania surpassed Spain by becoming the country with the most coffee houses per capita in the world. There are 654 coffee houses per 100,000 inhabitants in Albania. Smile and nods are different. Some signs and body languages are universal, irrespective of where you travel to. While the rest of the world nods in agreement and shakes their heads in disagreement, the Albanians do the opposite. Albanians nod when they mean no and shake their heads when they mean yes. Albanian language is unique because it forms a separate branch of Indo-European and cannot conclusively be closely connected with any other Indo-European language. And now, let's shine a spotlight on some of the individuals who have left an indelible mark on the world stage from this nation. Skanderbeg, Mother Teresa, Ismail Kadar, Dua Lipa, Baby Rexa, Rita Ora, Ava Max, Jim Belushi, Eliza Dushku, Mira Marathi, Inver Mula, Elsa Leela, Taulant and Granite Shaka, Sherdan Shakiri, Ferid Murad, John Milley, Fadil Berisha, Teddy Papa Vrami, Angelin Prelakaj, Rama Lahaj, Ermal Mehta, Tony Dovalani, and many more. As we wrap up our discussion on the top five things about Albania, we hope you've gained a deeper appreciation for this captivating country. From its stunning landscapes to its rich history and vibrant culture, Albania offers a wealth of treasures waiting to be explored. We extend our gratitude to you, our audience, for joining us on this journey of discovery. Thank you for watching, and until next time, may your adventures be filled with wonder and discovery.